Photoshop video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. You can, in recent versions of Photoshop, export the layers and you can export them at a particular size. So if you go over here, so I've got some type and you can export that as that size and you can export it just as that size, but you can also export it bigger than the actual design. So if you want to export maybe a little bit of a edge around it and then, or maybe make them all consistent same size, what you can just do, just go over here to layers, and if you can't see that, window and layers, just select those. Now, one thing that might also be useful is just quickly rename that. So just quickly click there and call it type. So whatever name you got there, it will give that name. So if you don't want lips one and you want to call it Bob, black adder obviously, Bob, and now background, shape, Bob, and type. What you have to do, quickly select all of those and then just go up here to export as. Now, I've actually done this already, so you can see that I've done a tri trial run. So normally, say so that would come up with a size that was the actual size. So if I actually say reset, I'm just going to reset that and it will put it down for that one anyway to a thousand. So you can actually put that back to a thousand and give it a little bit of an edge around it. So you've got that edge, they're all going to be consistent the same size. Like I say, they're all different sizes. That one was six, so I go up there, 776, 793. But I forced it by using canvas size, you can force it to have this edge around the image so it's not crunched up against the, the actual layer. There's also other options, obviously PNG, JPEG, GIF, etc., and transparency. Unfortunately, it's not a vast range of options. Small file, eight bit, not so useful if you're doing PNG. Um, and again, get rid of that. It doesn't give you the full options, like say eight colors, sixteen colors, and all that sort of stuff, and other things. Now, got other options as well. But I'm just going to just show you that, and then select all those and export all oh, and I'm going to save it to file called folder called test and then what I do is quickly go to test take five seconds get to test desktop and test and then you see background Bob shape one gives it the name and you'll also see that the file obviously is obviously bigger than the thing it is actually a thousand by a thousand so that's it just a quick way of creating files all equal size, but you don't have to go with 1,000 by 1,000. You could have 900 by 900 or whatever you want. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.